The local real estate market has been cooling down, but are prices still climbing? Is it a good time to buy a home? And joining us this morning to talk about the latest real estate trends is Rusty Rasmussen from the Home Loans Division of Central Pacific Bank. Good morning, Rusty. Thank you so much for joining us. Good morning. Okay, so we've seen the housing market cool down. Is it still cooling down right now? Well, it's cooling down a little bit, but it was so hot that just going from flaming hot to, mm -hmm. you know, super hot to <laughs> hot is, is kind of where we're at now. But during the pandemic with the low interest rates, it's like everything got bought up. All the homes got bought up. The mm -hmm. inventory is so low. So it'll take some time for that to normalize, but it's coming down to a more normal level not so much cooling as just getting less warm. Right. I think people are so used to the skyrocketing that was happening oh, during yeah. the pandemic that now they're like, oh my goodness, it's totally cooling off, but it's not. It's just like you said, normal. Yeah, it's just coming back to normal. So if you're not sure still about buying a home and say you're a renter, what are the pros and cons of both, both renting and buying? Let's start with renting first. Renting, well, when you rent, you'll have a lower monthly payment. Mm -hmm. And your landlord will do the maintenance and repairs and pay the insurance and taxes. So that's a lower level there for the monthly payment. When you're buying, you know, you'll typically have a little bit higher payment for your mortgage payment and you're responsible for the repairs and maintenance, taxes and insurance. Mm -hmm. One difference uh, I would bring up is that rents are going up quite rapidly. So once you get a mortgage payment, typically it's 30 years, your payment's going to stay the same, whereas right. rent, that may not be the case. And it used to be before that, you know, rent was way cheaper than mortgage. As that's why a lot of people are like, I'm just going to just rent because there's no way I can afford to buy a home. Right, right. And that's not always the case, but let me tell you, you know, rents are moving up. Mm -hmm. During the pandemic, uh, landlords couldn't raise their rents. So we're seeing, you know, that catch up to the market now. Making up for it. Making up for it, right. All right, let's talk about buying. What are the pros and cons to buying a home? Well, buying a home, you know, prices are up, rates are up a little bit, but, you know, you have, um, you are, you will have a higher monthly payment and you have to maintain it yourself, pay the taxes and insurance, but you also keep all the equity. And, you know, it's typically the way that most people will accumulate wealth. The most money they have is the equity in their home. Mm -hmm. so. And it's yours. People think like when you're renting, you're paying for someone else's mortgage. That's true. That's true. And there's a lot of intangibles too, you know, the, the pride of home ownership and the pride of owning your own home. You know, people, uh, young couples on a Friday night, their favorite place to go is Home Depot, you know. <laughs> Nothing of, wrong with that, Rusty. Yeah, Nothing you know. wrong. But uh, yeah, that's that's an intangible there. Mm -hmm. It's hard to put a number on. So if you're ready to buy, what advice would you give someone as how they can prepare? Because it's not so much you just show up to an open house. Oh, right, right. And, you know, I would tell people, especially not to get discouraged. You read in the paper of the prices going up over a million dollars, it can be very discouraging. But uh, one easy way to get started is to mm -hmm. talk to a realtor. Um, and they will walk you through the whole process. Uh, you can also get started with a loan officer, a mortgage loan officer, to see if you what you qualify for. And there are numerous other agencies that can help out. Not uh, one is the Hawaii Home Ownership Center, for example. And uh, one tip I give to people is that if you want to become a member of the Hawaii Home Ownership Center, mm -hmm. a realtor can get you a discounted membership. So mm. talk to your realtor, and they can refer you for a cheaper membership charge there. And there's so many ways that you can learn, you know, how to buy. It doesn't cost you anything to talk to a realtor or a mortgage loan officer. It's very individual. So someone to look at your particular situation is really the best way to start. Research and start the talks right now. Right. right. All right. Thanks so much for stopping by Rusty Rasmussen with Central Pacific Bank. My pleasure. Thank you so much. Thank you.